hello and welcome to my channel so today i'm sharing with you how i've created these beautiful wall sconces using very inexpensive items i'm also announcing the winner of the 25 dollars gift card for totallydazzled.com i'm starting off with this clear salad serving set from the dollar tree as well as this golf set that i also found at the dollar tree and I have two of these. Now I'll start off by removing this piece here from the golf club and all you have to do is twist that off. I'll also be cutting off this piece here and now I'll be taking my soldering iron and I'm going to be removing these pieces here from both of these. I'll be taking my wire cutters just to remove any excess plastic around the handles. So now I'll be using these stands from two of these LED window candles from the Dollar Tree and these are out during Halloween and Christmas. So I'm going to be taking those same wire clippers, I'm going to be removing the plastic off of the sides and I'm going to do that for both sides and I'm going to try to smooth this out as best as I can using a sanding block. I'm going to be taking two of the Dollar Tree mirrors. I'll be using some old Dollar Tree backings from picture frames and I'm going to be tracing my mirror onto this cardboard and then I'll be cutting that piece out. I want to make this small enough but large enough to add my glue and really secure this hanging hook to the back of my mirrors. So I'll be using my strong adhesive along with my hot glue to secure that into place. So I've given my candle stands as well as the golf clubs a coat of the high gloss black spray paint. I'm going to add hot glue to the bottom of the stand and I'll add a dab of the E6000 to the top piece of the stand and I'll secure my golf club into place. I decided to remove this top piece here. Once I've removed this piece, I've also decided to go ahead and shorten my sconce a bit. That is just personal preference. I went ahead and I gave these another coat of the black spray paint because that yellow was showing through on the inside of both of these pieces. Now I'm going to take my E6000 and I'm going to glue the bottom of that candle stand to the center of my mirrors. And for that, I'm only going to be using the E6000. And I'm going to be using some frog tape just to secure these pieces into place as the glue dries. Now using my E6000, I'm going to coat that on the top part of the handle and I'm going to add that to the golf club. I'm also going to use some tape just to secure this piece into place. So here I have some of these plastic cocktail glasses from the Dollar Tree and they do come in a pack of five. I'm going to be using my soldering iron just to remove this bottom piece from these cups. Now I'll be taking my hot glue and adding that to the inside of the top of the golf club and securing that cup into place. Now I had the idea of going ahead and adding some of that E6000 on this edge where both of these pieces meet. So I've taken some of these teardrop pendants and this is from the His and Her collection at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be using these to embellish the cup for my wall sconce. Now I'm going to be taking my hot glue just to secure these beads going all the way around this plastic cup. Thank you. 
So here's what that first row of teardrop pendants looks like. And now I'm gonna start on my second row. And I'm just gonna go in between two of those and I'm just gonna add my next gem there. And I'm just gonna follow that pattern going all the way around. So the tip for my pendants on the third row does hang over the bottom of the cup but I'm okay with that and you can definitely add crystals to cover up those holes at the bottom. I'm just going to be using some of this rhinestone ribbon from Hobby Lobby just to add some sparkle to my wall sconce. So our totally dazzled winner is Miss Cheryl Smith. Congratulations to you, Miss Cheryl. Leave me a comment down below with your email address in it so that you can receive your totally dazzled gift card. Here is how these sconce turned out and I think it's super cute. It's an affordable way to add that high-end look to your home. Even though these pieces were mostly made out of plastic, I think they definitely give off the high-end look. So let me know down below what are your thoughts on how these turned out and if you'll be trying to recreate some for your home. So that is all for today. I want to thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate your time. I hope that you're continuing this day safe and I will talk to you in my next video.